Hey there! So, you want to play some Super Mario World ROM hacks, but you're having trouble getting them to work, or you might have no idea where to begin at all. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you all the steps toward getting a ROM hack working on the SNES 9X emulator on your PC. This guide, along with some useful files to download, are also available in my Discord server, linked in the description. You can also contact me there if you run into any other problems that this video didn't address. First of all, I'm going to download 7-Zip, because most of the other things we need to download are going to be RAR or zipped folders. Also, 7-Zip is just a good thing to have. Pick 32 or 64-bit depending on what sort of system you're running. If you're not sure, just download 32-bit. It'll still work on a 64-bit system. Once it's downloaded, just run the installer. You'll get a prompt, click install. Once it's done, just close it. Now you've got 7-Zip. Next, we're going to head over to smwcentral.net, the place where most Mario World ROM hacks live. What we're going to do here is go down on the list of links in the side panel to SMW Hacks. Here we see a list of all the different hacks that exist for Super Mario World, so if we're looking for a specific hack, we have to click the Filter Results button. That gives us a few different ways to find the hack we're looking for. Here I just go under Name and type Gracie World, since it's the one I'm looking for and it's currently my favorite Mario World hack. Once I've found the one I'm looking for, I just click the download link right there on the list page and it's all done. Still on SMW Central, we're going to need to download the Floating IPS ROM Patcher, or FLIPS, found in the Tools section of the website. We just download that the same way we did our ROM hack and we're ready to move on. Now we need a clean ROM to patch this hack onto. People have told me they've been having a harder time finding the ROMs they're looking for lately. Luckily, the one we need is pretty easy to get. I just google Super Mario World parentheses U space SMC and the very first link has a direct download to the correct one for patching all the ROM hacks that I've ever played. Alright, we're almost done. All we need is an emulator to play them on. Here I just google SNES 9X because that's the emulator I typically use. There are other great SNES emulators out there that you can easily find through some googling or just browsing the different emulators available on sites like MU Paradise, which is where my search led me for the SNES 9X. Once you have everything we've covered downloaded, I recommend putting them all in one easy to access folder. In that folder, I like to separate my emulator, my ROMs and hacks, and my patcher into their own folders, just to keep everything from getting too messy. Then we're going to go ahead and go into each of those folders and extract everything that we need to. Just find all the RARs and zipped folders, right click them, then under 7-zip select extract here and it does the rest of the work for you. Alright. Once we're done extracting everything, we need to go back to Flips and open that up. You'll see a simple menu pop up. Go ahead and click Apply Patch, then a file browser will appear. You'll need to find the hack you just downloaded. Immediately after you select that, another file browser will appear. Now it's asking you what ROM to apply that patch to. Find the clean ROM of Super Mario World we just downloaded and select that. One last time, the browser will appear. Now it's creating the new ROM with the patch applied and asking you what to name it and where to put it. It'll automatically give the new ROM the same name as the patch being applied to it and place it in the same folder as the original clean ROM. I'm okay with both of these things, so I just hit save and it tells me the patch was applied successfully. Now all there's left to do is open up the emulator. Go to File, Load Game, and find your newly patched ROM and select it. The emulator should load right up and start playing the game. We're done! Now you can go into the input menu and map out any controller you might be using, then you can begin enjoying any of the great Super Mario World hacks there are out there. I hope this has helped you get things working. There will also be links to everything I've shown here in the description of this video, and if you're still unsure about anything, you can always leave a comment or message me on Discord. Thanks for watching.